Hey, it's Darren with San Clemente 360, back with another exciting adventure. This week with my friend Art from WireDiet.com. Check out the little ride we got to go play with this, this afternoon. What, tell me a little about this car, Art. Uh, this is a Factory 5 Racing 65 Cobra replica. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber body. Uh, IRS rear end, uh, a pretty built 302, five speed. Uh, it's an early one, it's a Mark One, number 1225. Uh, this was what actually started uh, the wire diet business. Actually, it started a Cobra shop that was building these down by the coach house. Uh, but that's gone away, like a lot of things around here. <laughs> uh, but we're still at it with the wiring. We're always evolving. Yeah, yeah adapting. <laughs> adapting to changing conditions, you know. It's a sign of a smart human, you know. Yeah, what are our choices? we got to get a new plan. Yeah, and we, and we like living here. So. Yeah. So exactly um, what part of this did you do? How did, what did you... Uh, well, it comes as a kit, you know, you get the uh, tubular... Uh, Cobra chassis and, and a fiberglass body, although this one has a uh, carbon fiber body. Yeah. Uh, this was the lightest car they ever weighed out at Willow Springs uh, racetrack. Uh, it was a uh, snake bite. It was a 2103. These things usually weigh around uh, 2300, 2400 with a fiberglass body. Uh, it was built in 1997 uh, by my good friend. By 2000, he got me involved because he had so much business, he needed help. So we've done everything in these kits from prep to fiberglass bodies, to primer, uh, build the whole kits, turnkeys, uh, done the wiring, you know, whatever anybody needed uh, for quite a few years and quite a few cars. Uh, but again, as I say, uh, that Cobra shop is no longer with us. And, uh, just working out of uh, my home shop, uh, concentrating on the wire. These Cobra kit guys, I have a pretty strong presence on the Cobra forum. And uh, when we closed the shop, they, they kind of let me know that, okay, but you have to keep doing the wiring. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> still, we still need your work. We can find somebody to sand the body. But, but, but we can't make it turn the key and have it turn on. Yeah, that yeah. Would start. Yeah, so, just make it work for me, Art. Just make so it work for me. That's my little niche, and it's been pretty successful. Uh, and I've been on my own now since 08, so uh, I've got a pretty good track record on my own which was important to me because Roger Stein had an excellent record and was well known in the Cobra community. And uh, the last thing that uh, I wanted was for that reputation to diminish at all. Thank God I'm only doing the wiring because he could do everything. <laughs> well, stick with one thing and do it right, you know? It's Yeah. Yeah, these, you know, most of these uh, guys building these cars now, and I work with guys building other hot rods, are putting these uh, modern, Mustang V8 fuel injected engines in them. And uh, this here is a 302 with a four barrel. It's rather simple. Uh, the newer uh, fuel injected engines are incredibly complicated. Uh, I compare the wiring in a, in a uh, four barrel 302 to a, a P51 Mustang in World War II. And the new electronic uh, fuel injection out of the new Mustangs, well, that wiring is like a F22 Raptor. Uh, there are so many wires and so many circuits uh, that it really takes a lot to get it pared down to just what it takes to run the engine and the gas. Just what, just what you need. Not or a transplant to, you know, one of these, one of or, these it, yeah. or a 66 Fastback Mustang, or a, whatever you're building. So if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, where would they go to find you? What's, what's your web address? Uh, the web address is wirediet, one word, dot com. Wirediet.com. So, uh, yeah, if you're building anything and you're transplanting a modern uh, Ford fuel-injected engine uh, and you're wondering what you're going to do with all that wiring, I might be somebody you might want to talk to. Call Art. 
call Art. And my contact information is on the website. That's wirediet.com. That's wirediet.com. Right on. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> what an worry. exciting uh, interview. <laughs>